everyone, this is Lomi back with round 2 for Rune's wig. For this attempt, I decided to use alpaca fiber because I thought it might lay better than the synthetic wig. I ordered raw fiber off Etsy, then cleaned and brushed it myself. Since this was my first time working with alpaca fiber, I used Alien's Super Fabric Adhesive to make it into wefts, spreading glue across the top of each lock and making sure it's glued all the way through. This glue is super toxic, so definitely use a respirator if you use it. After the glue is dry, the wefts will look like these two that got stuck together. I cut the uneven part off the top to make them easier to manage. Then it's time to make the wig cap. This time around I'm using nylon socks for slip-on shoes. They're pretty much the same as pantyhose, but I was able to get a big pack of these at the dollar store. With plastic under the material, I coat the whole thing with a lot of white glue and then brush it around to cover the whole head. Be sure to get around the ears and down the back of the head. Once the glue is dry, I use a water-soluble pencil to mark the hairline and the direction I want the hair to lay, just like the last wig, but this time I cut the wig cap out before I add the hair. I keep the plastic on, of course, so I don't glue the wig to his head. Using more of the fabric adhesive, I start applying wefts at the ponytail and in front of the ears. His hair won't be this long, and normally if you want a natural looking hairstyle, you would cut the locks of alpaca hair to make them the length you want before you make the wig. But as I mentioned in the last video, his hair is supposed to be kind of rough and choppy, so I'm working from the top and cutting off the ends to make another wig later. I apply wefts all the way to the edges of the wig, adding extra glue on the ends if they don't want to stick down. Once I reach the edges, I cut the glued top of the wefts a lot thinner, and then attach them at the very edge, with the hair hanging in the opposite direction from what I want, so that when I fold it back, it creates a nice natural hairline. This is similar to what I did on the other wig, but it's on top of the other wefts instead of being on the inside edge of the wig cap. That's because this type of hard cap fits a lot tighter on the front and sides than the soft cap I used before. After the glue dries, I fold all these edge pieces back and brush it all smooth. Unlike the front of the wig, the back has a looser fit. That's actually really convenient, since there's a tricky spot at the back corner that can only be covered by gluing a small weft to the underside of the wig cap and folding it back over the edge. I add that piece on both sides, and remove a few stray hairs my husky contributed to the project, and then I tie back his ponytail. I first position the ponytail higher than I want it, so that when I lower it half an inch or so later, the top of the ponytail will be a bit shorter and spikier than the bottom. Then I cut off the extra. I ordered some thinning shears to help reduce the fluffiness of the ponytail, but they're not here yet, so for now I just snip the extra off the hanging pieces, and then trim the ends a bit so they're rough but not blocky. And here's how the second attempt turned out. I like it a lot better than the synthetic wig, even if I have to wait for my thinning shears to arrive to finish the ponytail and complete the styling. That's all for today though. Thanks for watching. Bye.